What's up, guys? It's Matt here. Let's talk about something really quick. Um, Shiba Inu and understanding what we've gone through in like the past maybe couple of days or so in the adrenaline rush that we've seen with all of the burns that are going through or that big burn that we did see and then the partnership or the partnering with um you know a hundred million coin burn and you know seeing a total of like 8.4 8.2 coming from shibirium a billion coins that are burned off you know it gives people a lot of excitement that adrenaline rush that we all want within Shiba Inu to see the massive supply that burns off. Finally, we see Shibirium doing something. Finally, we see the ecosystem dev team doing something. But hold up. While there comes something positive for Shiba Inu, there's always going to be a way to tear it down from this ecosystem dev team. And I mentioned in a video yesterday the fact that we may be seeing them bo uh, burn <laughs> um, bone as well as Shiba Inu. And... I feel like at this point they are just boning um, Shib because they're just they're screwing them over, right? Screwing the entire community over, and uh, <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Um, uh, I guess it was the mistake, the kind of like Freudian slip, I guess. Um, but either way, they're really looking to screw over Shiba Inu in a large way, and. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. And what I was trying to say was that um, they could be doing this, right? It's not 100% that it's going to happen this way. But it's making it look like this. Because every time we come up with anything that is positive, they always find a way to just tear us completely down. So right now, we're looking at a massive amount that could potentially be burned, burned off for SHIB um, from the last three days, right? Or technically two days. And I want to go over that number with you. Uh, again, I want to put a, um, or give a huge shout out to ship burn as well as clay bros doing a lot of the, the brunt work in, you know, telling people exactly what these numbers are and making sure, you know, they express it and, uh, let people know that they have this massive amount and we need to burn this off. We need to make sure that we press that burn button and not just, you know, or not for both for Shiba Inu, which is was which was going to be the case. And now it seems like they're going to focus on uh, burning bone, burning Shib, and it, it's a little bit of an issue. So before we get into this, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, if you guys want to check out um, my Rumble account, feel free to check out that link that's down below. Also, if you guys want to start trading on or start trading SHIB, whether you have $100 or you have $1,000, you can start trading uh, Shiba Inu uh, with a new exchange that I partnered with. They are a partner on the channel. It's uh, Margex. If you're not familiar with it, um, it's an exchange that I literally just got uh, familiar with. And it's because, you know, it has no KYC. It's not really set up like a, a KuCoin or like a Gate.io where you have to um, go there and completely verify, you know, where you are, you are from. And if you're trading within the U.S., you cannot trade on that platform. It's a problem in, in KuCoin, Gate.io, um, MEXC, all of these places. But Margex allows you to trade as well as allows you to trade with margin. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll include a link up in the cards. And I'll also include one in the comment section in the uh, description so you guys can uh, check it out for yourself. But like I said, I only have $100 in um, XRP or no. $100 in Ethereum that's over here, and I'm able to trade and obviously can trade up to, you know, uh, $2,400. I could trade um, and, you know, do a $500 trade and, you know, end up leveraging that and having uh, a decent size gain as long as I do see that it's increasing or decreasing. You can also short the market here. So honestly, it looks like a great platform with all of the different indicators that we want to see. And, um, you know, I think it could be great for you guys as well. So definitely check out that link that will be in the cards if you guys want to start trading SHIB and leveraging SHIB and, you know, doing all that stuff. Just be careful, guys, with any trading, there are some risks and larger risks at that, especially when you're leveraging money that kind of isn't yours, right? Leveraging the money that is yours, but then using money that is not yours. So just be careful when you are doing that, but it does give you the opportunity to do so. Again, use that link in the description and in the cards. But let's talk about Shiba Inu because currently it's at a level or was at a level to where it dropped to zero. It dropped one zero, which was absolutely phenomenal to see it grow because it wasn't really making a move. But now it has since dropped down. Maybe it was because of the thought that they are going to burn bone as well as SHIB. 
And, you know, even though they've been completely against burning altogether. And if they're against burning, like why, why do you have to um, always put your own coin in there when you see any type of positivity, right? Now you're all about burning. That doesn't make sense at all. <clears throat> so currently it's sitting at a 0 0.00009782. Um, we're seeing it down 1.9% or almost 2% at a $5.7 billion market cap. Uh, volume is about $300 million there uh, with the volume to market cap ratio sitting at 5.25%, still at a form of popularity, obviously above 5%. We want to see a lot more though that flows through there. So um, in the last day, in the last seven days, we've seen this up about 19%. So it's great to see it one, uh, drop that zero, but also stay up here in that level. It could be creating a lower high, lower low scenario unless we see the market that's starting to become positive, which it is. So that's a good thing. But we also need to see some some things that come out of the SHIB camp to be uh, pretty big um, or implement something within there. And hopefully it would be the burns. Now, one thing that you could see an implementation of, like you did see this larger burn that happened uh, three days ago, 8.2 billion overall that came from Shibirium and it was out of pressure to do so, right? The community really pressured them to do so because of what Shibburn has made available to everybody. Well, now we're seeing within there, they basically said, look, we're not gonna let the community apply pressure to us and we'll press the burn button whenever we wanna press the burn button. And honestly, it kind of uh, that kind of pisses me off because I feel as though they're just trying to um, take all of this and they're trying to have complete control over it when the community should have, you know, control over exactly what does happen there, the people that are making these transactions, right? So you have a total of over or just under, I guess, $500,000 in bone um, or yeah, $500,000 in bone that could be burned off in Shiba Inu. Right, so you could be burning off Shiba Inu here, which would amount to literally tens of billions of coins that'll be burned off today if they decided to hit that burn button. That's what's insane. They can continue to do that, but what they're looking to do is, as far as I know, they're looking to kind of um, change this up and now burn bone instead of burning ship from what I've seen. And I don't want that to happen. I know you don't want that to happen. And if, Sh if Shitoshi allows that to happen, then it goes against everything that he has stated and his team has stated. And, you know, the fact that, um, they don't really like burns. And anytime you question burns or ask about burns, they block you. Now it's anytime you ask them to burn the amount that they have to burn, they block you again. It's just like, I don't understand. Why do we have to act like children? Just answer the questions. If you don't want to do it, then answer it, right? Um, and, you know, tell people that you don't want to support Shiba Inu, even though you are, um, you know, leaning into being a developer of SHIB, right? Being a, um, you know, a supporter of SHIB and SHIB is king. But in reality, everything that you have there would not uh, or does not support SHIB at all. Understand this. We would burn 99.9% .9 of the supply if we decided to go all in on burns. If they decided to go all in where they had the metaverse lands that, you know, you still can end up swapping and, and buying and all that stuff and minting e either way, um, the metaverse and everything that happens in there, burning Shib, Shito uh, Sh Shitoshis, not Shitoshis, Shiboshis, um, or Wellies or anything else, Bone Leash, the sale of all of that. Everything that happens there, if we went all in on, on burns, you would see 99.9% .9 of the supply that can burn off. That's a fact. You would see that 100%. Even just showing this with Shibirium and what they could do, they could burn off shit, but they're not willing to do that. They're not even willing to press the, bot, the burn button right now, which honestly is disappointing. So... Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this. I think uh, SHIB will still have a, a massive push either way. It's just, it, it goes to show like they have the opportunity to do so, but they choose not to support uh, Shiba Inu in the end, which it just bothers me. Every time they do it, it doesn't fail that they will find a way to disappoint us. Um, but anyways, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Again, if you guys want to uh, sign up for Margex. Go ahead and sign up for Margex. You'll get up to 100x leverage um, on your trades. So if you're interested in, in leverage trading in the US, you can definitely do that on this platform. They offer a lot of different places or a lot of different positions. And what I hear is that they're going to be offering Caspa as well. But I know for people that are XRP or Shiba Inu fans or Pepe fans, you can obviously trade a lot of that uh, as you go forward. But 
I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.